This demonstration is to be used in conjunction with the sheet REACT Series 2. The experiment is to establish the reactivity series of metals. The reactivity series of metals can be established by studying the reactions of metals with water and acids, as well as simple displacement reactions. A more reactive metal will displace a less reactive metal from a solution containing one of its salts. In this experiment, we are going to look at the reaction with water, the reaction with dilute hydrochloric acid, and a couple of displacement reactions. We'll start off reaction one, the reaction with water. In each of these five test tubes, there is some distilled water, and I'm going to add copper, zinc, lead, magnesium, and iron to the water. And I would like you to look to see if there's any um, evidence of a reaction and write your observations in the table. So we'll start off with copper turnings in distilled water, zinc granules in distilled water, some lead foil in distilled water, magnesium turnings in distilled water, and finally iron filings in distilled water. We're looking to see if there's any evidence of a reaction. Copper, zinc, lead, magnesium, and iron. Write any observations in the table on the sheet. We are now going to repeat the experiment, but this time using dilute hydrochloric acid. This is reaction two, the reaction with dilute hydrochloric acid. Each of these five tubes contains dilute hydrochloric acid. And again, I'm going to add copper, zinc, lead, magnesium and iron to the tubes. And I want you to look to see if there's any hint of a reaction. If there is a reaction, can you differentiate between whether it's very fast, medium, slow, or no reaction at all, and again, please write your observations in the table on the sheet. So we start off with copper turnings in dilute hydrochloric acid, zinc granules in dilute hydrochloric acid, lead in dilute hydrochloric acid, magnesium turnings in dilute hydrochloric acid, and iron filings in dilute hydrochloric acid. Is there any evidence of a reaction? And if so, is it fast, medium, or slow? Copper, zinc, lead, magnesium, and iron. Have a look at the reactions and write down in the table what you can see. We will now look at some displacement reactions. In the four boiling tubes you can see there we have copper sulfate solution and to the copper sulfate solution I'm going to add lead, iron, zinc and magnesium and we're looking for any evidence that copper has been displaced. So you're looking to see if there is any copper being formed in the tube. Copper, remember, is a red-brown solid. So into the first tube, some lead foil. Into the second tube, some iron filings. Into the third tube, some zinc granules and into the final tube, some magnesium turnings. Ignore any side reaction that you can see there with the magnesium. We're looking to see if there is any evidence that copper is being displaced. So this is the lead. Can you see any evidence of copper? 
This is the iron filings. Is there any evidence that copper is being formed there? This is the zinc. Is there any evidence that copper has been formed there? And finally, the magnesium turnings. Is there any evidence that copper has been formed there? We'll leave them for a few more seconds and I'll show them to you again. And please write down your observations in the table. So that's lead. Iron, zinc, and magnesium. The final experiment is a displacement reaction again, this time using lead nitrate solution, which is colourless. And again, we're going to add iron, copper, zinc and magnesium and we're looking to see if there's any evidence that lead is being displaced. Lead is a silvery grey metal. So iron filings and lead nitrate, copper turnings and lead nitrate, zinc granules and lead nitrate and magnesium turnings and lead nitrate. <clears throat> We're looking for any evidence that the initial metal has displaced lead. You say lead is a sort of silvery grey metal, it's hard to distinguish between some of the other metals that we've added. But is there any evidence with the iron that lead is forming in that tube. Is there any evidence that lead is forming? Now we've added the copper. Is there any evidence with the zinc granules? And finally, again, is there any evidence that lead has been produced there with the magnesium? Again, just leave it for a few minutes and I'll show you the tubes again and I want you to write down what you can see, if there's been a displacement reaction or not. So that's with the iron filings. Is there any evidence of lead being formed there? Copper turnings, zinc granules, and the magnesium turnings. 